So I'm staying with a friend right now, and they asked me, they have seven weeks to go really deep inside, they're going on this dieta, healing journey, and they asked me what I would do, and I said many things that I would do if I had seven weeks just to be internal and really focus on the remapping and restructuring of my inner being to really align with essence and source. And one thing I talked about was dreaming and spending time really dreaming yourself real. And then afterwards they mentioned um, vision boards and and then how, but that cow vision board is sort of like using the mind, the ego to project what I want and not really allowing the inner guidance of source to come in and that and I was like, yeah, and in some ways what I meant was to dream our highest vibration evolution into reality, to dream it to the extent where is it really the, the self dreaming or is it the I receiving the dream of the soul? Is it the I receiving the dream of our future self in some time frame reality that has really fulfilled its essence, has fulfilled its soul mission and purpose in such an inner alignment and is living out into the world to really allow the self, this present self, to dream, to open to that reality and to receive the information there. And in that way, is it, it's at once maybe the self projecting, but also receiving and listening to the future that is present and that is true, that is calling us. It's such a beautiful practice because it really allows, it, you can feel into that being, feel into that dream and how are they aligned? How are they moving with their energy and with their relationships and with the material, with their essence? And what in what ways are is this present self further from or in alignment with that? And, and there's a sense that it's not really the I, it's like the sense of the soul, the sense of the essence, really what it's meant to do here in some ways coming into active relationship with one's destiny and then prophesizing it real not really from a sense of control or a sense of doership but really from a sense of experiencing the cosmic dream and experiencing god's dream as your as your own as god's dream is your dream for yourself in some way and it's When we do this, we're able to activate the vibration of reality of our abundant self. So everything is real. Every There is a dimension and a vibration where everything you want is you have and it's already activated. All we do in this sort of dreaming and visioning and kind of synthesizing is how is aligning your current vibration to the a vibration of wholeness and for me this is i mean there's i feel like there's many perhaps egoic tendencies and a bit of sense of i and doership and control in um avenues of law of attraction but there is really something about being with the ebbs and flows with the um um this movement of the universe and, and allowing yourself to be in synchronicity with this movement. The sun is warm. So we are in a really unique experience. I really feel that when COVID hit, we experience a break in a time frame continuum, meaning that we're not quite where we were and we're not quite where we're going. We're in, we're in between. And in this in-between time, there are so many channels and portals and capacities that are um, available in a, in a really real and tangible way. We can really, in some ways, um, stimulate our highest potential within this body, not in the next life or when we leave this body or another form, like really with this body. And a part of this dream, a part of this visioning is really being in detail about what is possible. Like for me, I would love in my new earth vision to always include like an insane amount of abundance of food, but also the sentience. Like if there's a berry bush, I can speak to this berry bush and say, please provide me a handful of blueberries or raspberries. And I'm we're in such communion and we're in such automatic movement that I'm able to receive that from, from that. Like we are in a conversation that's so beautiful that there's like berries just sprouting. And like if there's a blank wall, 
wall and I can talk to the wall and we can feel into what it wants to be. Maybe green and gold swirls come across that wall and vines spring up and there's so much accessibility and through that accessibility there's so much creation, there's so much innovation. We really spend time wandering through what's possible, what's possible in our relationships, what's possible within ourselves, really exploring our sexuality and our energy and our emotions as ways to create and really expand the capacity of the crystalline DNA structure and of our own humanity through joy and through love. You know, there is this argument that perhaps if we were in super abundant state, then there would be a sense of laziness that comes or maybe um, we would lose our motivation. But I really feel this idea that we grow from pain and that sadness is the structure that allows us to really um, experience things and that there's all these flavors of sadness and grief, but there's only one tone of happiness, joy and love is a really... Um, like constrictive idea and I feel we haven't really explored what does it mean to live from a remembered state what it means to live from love and joy and happiness and I feel like when we are not in the process of forgetting and remembering but remaining and residing and abiding in a remembered state all these new new these new languages these new ways of being interactions activities exercises will spring from love ways of relating that we can really explore perhaps a whole new continuum of like language and vocabulary and expressions from a remembered state from being aware of the consciousness that resides within us i just feel like there's so much we have so much potential and so much possible within us that we haven't quite yet experienced and I feel like this is the moment to really dream and to really envision that place because that place is already real and through our envisioning we are learning the codes and the details of that place and we are synchronizing our vibration to that vibration so that there becomes here and here becomes there and that might mean different things for many people around the world but it's really what does it mean for you? Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? What sort of explorations does your soul feel called to in this, in this lifetime? And really allowing the greatest potential to feel possible, the greatest possibility. Because it is. It really is. Now more than ever. So, and it's not easy it's not easy to always choose joy and choose love especially in the state we're in now and everything that's happening but i do feel there's a glimmer and in that glimmer we can follow it and and in our following of it we expand into it and as we expand into it it becomes more of our reality and becomes more possible and you've probably experienced this in your life with something as detail if it was a relationship or a job or just your own self-growth and self-healing you know what it means to feel the glimmer inside of you and to follow it into the greatest and most beautiful surprise that is like where did that come from and yet it's always been here it's always been here to follow the glimmer follow love follow joy and it's not about ignoring what's here it's about increasing joy inside of what's here and it's including it all because all of it is coming to belong all of the pain and the suffering and all of the past it's how to be included as a part of the wholeness of being love and not kind of separate it as x y and z and not be in duality because i feel as a whole being we have the capacity to experience the whole meal of emotions and understand it as love being all always as a sense of deep liberation have a beautiful moment wherever this moment finds you